Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we are going to talk about two different scents. We'll get to that in a minute. First off, thanks for all the well wishes. I'm still hanging on to this summer cold, which just does not want to give up. But uh, my sniffer is working. It's kind of down into my chest now, but I'm on the mend. So thanks to everybody for asking about me. Okay, so we are going to talk about <clears throat> uh, sheer leather and perfect pumpkin pear. We will start with the perfect pumpkin pear because this is the October scent of the month. And this comes with the absolutely stunning mercury glass pumpkin. Let me show you a picture of it right here. It is so gorgeous. I have a review up on my channel and unboxing, so to speak, or a show and tell, if you will. Um, this is what it looks like when it's lit up. This is unlit. I have one of, I have uh, a Scentsy warmer called Amber Fluted Warmer. And in the catalog, it was, you know, it looked pretty, you know, it wasn't all that. But when I plugged it in, it is gorgeous. And that is currently my favorite warmer. This is like that. When you get it in person and light it up, it just is even more beautiful than it is here. So definitely check that out. It's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. But anyhow, we are talking about the wax today. <clears throat> Perfect pumpkin pear, which Sensi describes as fall fresh pumpkin and crisp golden pears mingle with breeze drifting cloves in sandalwood scents. So there are many Divided reviews on this. Lots of people like it. Some people not so much. One person even called it vomit. LOL. I love you. I will not say your name. But uh, so I was really like very leery about this one. It's like, oh my gosh, am I going to love it? Because sandalwood in me and I'm really kind of picky. But actually, I did like this. I don't get the vomit notes at all. It's empty now, uh, obviously. Oh, yeah, this was really, really good. I definitely did get pumpkin like although there are cloves in it I still got just the fresh pumpkin scent without you know the cinnamon which of course there was none in here anyway but behind the pumpkin I did get a little bit of a pear note and the cloves and I was very concerned about the sandalwood and I might have gotten a little sandalwood but what the sandalwood did to for me it just kind of warmed everything up make it made it kind of warm and comforting. Um, the cloves gave it a slight spice note, but again, no cinnamon, so I was totally down with that. And so I really liked this one. If you like pumpkin scents, if you don't care for pumpkin and cinnamon, um, and I, as I said, I, I did get the, I don't get too much pear here on cold, but on warm, I got a little bit of a juiciness, I guess, from the pear, but Overall, this was a thumbs up for me, and I was very, very concerned, but I do really, really like that. So check that one out. It's the October scent of the month. So that is a thumbs up for me, as is the warmer. Uh, this one now we will talk about is Sheer Leather. This was chosen by Joshua with an H, Jacob Flores. Joshua has his own uh, YouTube channel here as well, so definitely check out Joshua's channel, Joshua Flores. Um, and he chose this as is, I think, out of everybody that responded on last Sensi Saturday, everybody wanted this one. I, I can't recall off the top of my head if there was anything else, but I do know that overwhelming majority wanted sheer leather. Joshua was the first to chime in. Um, so let's see what Sensi says. says. Let's see what Sensi says. Uh, slip into something more sensual like bergamot, a subtle hint of leather and sandalwood. Okay. Right off the bat, I've said this before, for me and my nose, if there's bergamot in it, I know it's going to be cologne. And that this is no exception to that little observation that I've made. Um, a subtle hint of leather. Yes, unfortunately, it is very subtle in sandalwood. I don't mind the sandalwood. I'm coming, I'm coming around to, to liking sandalwood in things. But um, I, it absolutely definitely a cologne note scent. And the leather leads one to believe that, yes, there it is leather in here. Um, what am I trying to say? It, the cologne is a leather cologne. Like maybe, I don't know, a cowboy would wear it or something. I have no idea. That's, I shouldn't even say that. But um, it, it, it does lead you to believe there is leather in it. However, the overwhelming uh, scent 
uh, feeling is of cologne. I'm just really having a hard time getting my no my scent my words out for this scent. It was really difficult. Um, so if you like cologne scents, definitely pick this up because it was strong. The throw was like eight or nine out of ten, and I only put one. See, I still have a lot of it left because I'm I, I'm always betwixt and between where I'm going to melt these cologne scents. So I'll. Uh, course I put it in my bedroom I put one in my room and one in the guest room or right across the hall and the throw even on one was pretty good like I said eight out of ten I was kind of reluctant to try two. I might do two tonight um because I just wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not I did like it for a cologne scent I'm not huge on cologne scents but I did enjoy it actually and I think I'll put two in my warmer tonight so that was kind of confusing wasn't it okay yes it's cologne definitely cologne there is a subtle hint of leather, as it says, and the sandalwood, eh, I kind of just got more of this strong cologne note, uh, <clears throat> and the throw was great. So, uh, sorry for all the rambling about that one there. We'll just send one more time. Okay, so next week, the choices are Johnny Appleseed, Lux Vanilla, Huckleberry Sage, and Spiced Pear, which I'm hearing is very good. So uh, that is it for this week's Scentsy Saturday. The first person to respond down below, that will be the wax I will melt and review next week. Um, check out my website if you want to order the new uh, October warmer of the month and the scent of the month, which is Perfect Pumpkin Pear. Also, it's Bring Back My Bar Month. So on my website, you will also see a place to uh, start voting for your favorite scent and hopefully um it'll come back in uh november i believe so that's it if you have any questions leave them down below uh, my website will be down below if you want to place an order and that is it for me so i hope everybody's having a great day i will see you soon bye